right, so today we are going to talk about Ponky. There's been a huge drop in the price again for Ponky, which actually presents a good buying opportunity. We're going to be talking about whether or not it's going to drop again and also what the whales are doing amidst this drop. Anyways, go ahead, hit the like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice, but let's go over this. So the price currently for Ponky is at 0.3389. So this Solana giant is ready to move really it's down 12 percent in the last 24 hours so, so that's pretty good as when you're looking for a discount in price you don't want to buy it when it's, when it's at the peak but right now it's actually at a good price now when it, when everything dropped on august 5th you know it went all the way down to 22 cents it's at 33 cents now so it's up 12 percent from there um not only that we got um 184 million dollar market cap so market cap's looking decent 17.9 million dollars in 24-hour trading volume so that's looking decent also now Looking at the technical side of things, you can actually see how we bounced off this discount price point at the bottom of these momentum wave bands. And these are our chart prime automated trading indicators. Link in the description if you want to check out that. But more on that later, we're just going to be going over really what's about to happen here with the market. See, we're about to hit this support right down here. Typically, when we hit these supports that are midway between the momentum wave bands, it's either going to make that decision. It's like an inflection point. It's going to make that decision whether or not it's going to continue to rise from here, or if it can't actually rise from here and it gets rejected, then it'll go back down to this support here. And then if it gets rejected at this support, at the 27 cent support, then it'll go down to the uh, 22 cents uh, support where we had our discount zone at. So that's what we're waiting for right now. Me personally, I think that it's going to bounce back from here because when you look at the Stotch RSI and when you also look at the Fibonacci, like we, if we pull back any more, yeah, we'll probably stop at 28 cents or 27 cents, but we're not going to go much below that. See, when you actually look at this, like if we go down to this little support here, that's around 27 cents. The same thing as our Fibonacci. That's why when you're doing these technical analysis, you always want to check both areas like you want to check a manual technical analysis and an auto technical analysis you know like with automated trading indicators so that's why i like to do you know fibonacci's and then i also like to just do it manually with the different indicators right so you got to use a bunch of stuff i'm using the stotch rsi here i'm using the fibonacci retracements i'm using the chart prime automated trading indicators which has their market dynamics pro and the market oracle pro so that's what i'm using to kind of bring this all full circle so right now we're pretty much expecting to either bounce from where we are now or go down to the next support and then bounce off that support and then continue to go up. But me personally, I think that we might stop at this support because when you look at the stock RSI, you see that it's kind of crossed down here at the bottom. And typically when you see in the RSI, the stock RSI cross at the bottom like that, it starts to go upwards. And that's where you start to see the pump coming in at. Because typically when you start to cross at the bottom, it does the same thing always. So it typically goes up. Um, another example where it crossed at the bottom and went up is back down here and continue to rise. Now, there are times where it could cross at the bottom here and then it could have like a false breakout to the point where it's like a bull trap and it kind of tricks you kind of like how I did here. See how it uh, crossed at the bottom here and then it went up, but it went up just a little bit. It tricked you and then it went down immediately and then it went up again and tricked you one more time and then it went down immediately and then it just completely crashed from there. So. You got to be careful with that. But this one kind of looks like it's it's been primed for a breakout, you know, because it went down slowly but surely. But it wasn't a huge drop. It was a slow one. And you can already see a green candlestick forming up here. So I think we're going to have a nice pump coming in here for Ponky. So if that's going to be the case, then we can see us going up to the equilibrium price again for Ponky, which is around 45 cents which is um, a nice gain from where we are now. If you take this, for example, $10,000 currently at the current prices, which is 0 0.34185 times where we should be going is 45 cents. That's $13,163. So that is $3,163 in gains. So that's pretty good. That's a 30% gain right there. 31.63% gain actually. So that's a pretty good amount of gains right there. And I wouldn't be surprised if we do that. So that's definitely um, a play on that, a play that I'm looking to make here with Punky. So, you know, and let's just say you don't have that much money, right? Let's just say your money isn't as long as everyone else's, right? Let's just say you only have a thousand. You can still make good money on a play like this, but it's not going to be as uh, much. It's not going to look as rewarding. 
But over time, when you keep winning like this, it will become rewarding. So that's one thousand three hundred fourteen dollars. So I mean, three hundred fourteen dollars if you can make a trade like that every day, which trades like that do not come every day. Okay, like when I say it's going to go from thirty four cents up to forty five cents, this is probably going to be in the matter of a week. This is going to be like a week or two in play and playing out. So maybe in about a week, we'll have those 30% gains, 30 to 31% gains. So I'll say give it one to two weeks. So um, we'll check back inside of one to two weeks, see how it goes. 45 cents should be reaching that. But let's see what the whales are doing. Because remember, I mentioned that at the beginning of the video. And the whales, you know, there's a lot of people with a lot of money in this. They're doubling down seven days ago. Uh, if you actually look at what happened seven days ago, as we know, we had this huge drop. And what did the whales do? The whales started buying it up 58,000 punky, 67,000 punky. So the whales, you know, they started to buy it up. And then there's some whales that are just holding and they're not going to sell it for nothing because they got it for pennies on the dollar. And they know once this gets to where Pepe is coming, they're going to have big, big, like huge money. So they're, they're going to have a lot of money once this comes. And this whale bought at the beginning of punky at 2.1 million, uh, 2.1 million coins. This whale about three months ago, they're still holding strong. There's a lot of whales that are holding punky and they're probably not going to sell until it reaches that price point that they want to see it at. And that's why I'm holding a good amount too. And I'm not letting go of it until I see it where I want to see it at. So it kind of sucks because when I first got into punky, I got in at 50 cents. Okay. I got in punky at 50 cents because I seen it was going down. I was like, all right, this is the perfect time to buy. It's going down. If anything, it'll hit the support and it bounce off it. And it kind of did. It hit the support and bounced but it stopped midway and then it kept going down. And then I was like, all right, dollar cost average time. And that's what you pretty much got to do. You just got a dollar cost average into it. But look, I know once we go up to this 45 cent range, this 45 cent Fibonacci retracement, which is also just happens to be our equilibrium price. That's why I love the automated trading indicators with chart prime because it's so accurate. But when you look at that, it's literally at the same price point as our Fibonacci retracement. So it shows that it's correct. So that's what we're really waiting for here with Ponky. 45 cents is coming soon. But anyways, this is all I got for you all today. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Definitely go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and go ahead and check out Chart Prime. Link in the description. Best automated trading indicators out there by far. So use the discount code CP30 for 30% off because you can get this for much cheaper and you can get the um, longer one for 30% off. And it's already discounted because, you know, you're paying for it quarterly. So it's a $201 discount plus the 30% off this, which you already got discounted for $201. So there's so much discounts here. Or you can get the yearly one for $804 off if you get it yearly, which will be $40 a month, but it will be paid annually at $489. So all this pays back for itself. And just like I was showing you with these trades, that one trade would have paid for your quarterly. And that one trade would have paid for most of your yearly one. So you can see like this, this really pays off. This really pays off. That's why I have it. It is worth it. But anyways, hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out Chart Prime. And as always, I'll be back with another video.